Hey guys, this isn't the best lighting, but I am actually at the mall and it's seven o'clock right now on a Sunday um, because I'm going to like a friends and family event that I was invited to at the Sephora that I used to work at. So I'm going to be shopping the 20% off friends and family sale or people walking by like toy looking at me like what the heck is she doing? Um, <laughs> but I didn't get to vlog today. I'm so sorry. Me and Mama B did hang out today and we went um, to a few places. We went to TJ Maxx and I saw this gorgeous rose gold blingy bag bag that I almost got but I didn't but I did film it so you guys could see it um and where else we went to Sephora I asked at JC Penney because I had to return a few things and I did get two things for a Christmas giveaway for you guys I'm so excited about my Christmas giveaway even more excited than my um I feel like maybe I should do a Thanksgiving one as well I'll probably do it around sorry it's out of I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the giveaway like at Thanksgiving or Christmas, but it's kind of more Christmas themed items. And I'm gonna be getting like holiday sets for you guys and all kinds of cute little things. And I've already started getting a few things. Um, I'm even more excited about that giveaway than the recent one that's going on right now. By the way, you have until the 31st to enter. So when you're watching this, it'll be Sunday. So you'll have about 24 hours left to um, put in your entries. Actually, I think I made it end at midnight on the 31st. So. You'll have all of Monday as well to enter, but make sure to enter. I'll have a link down below for you guys. So two minutes, I think they're already letting people in, so I'm gonna get going and I'll show you what I get later. Okay guys, we're about to watch Walking Dead. <gasps> Mom, are you nervous? I'm so nervous. Hey guys, so I'm now at my house, but I just got done watching The Walking Dead premiere with Mama B. Oh my good lord. Okay, I'm giving you a forewarning. If you haven't seen this season's premiere yet, or you're behind on Walking Dead, make sure to skip a few minutes ahead, because I will probably be giving some spoilers. So you've been warned, and I'm gonna start talking about it now. So this is like the only good lighting I'm like facing my lamp right now. <laughs> so I posted this on Twitter and said, the Walking Dead premiere in three words is traumatizing, heartbreaking, and horrifying. Those are the three words I would use to describe this episode. It was, it was a good episode, like it was, and a really great start, I guess, to the season and what's to come. And it's, I can imagine this season's gonna be insane, but it was so sad and so heartbreaking and really traumatizing and oh, man. So Negan, it's so hard to see that actor as anything but Denny from Grey's Anatomy or the guy from P.S. I Love You. I mean, he's played such like heart-wrenching sweet roles and now he's absolutely horrifying monster, I mean, I'm sure that is great for an actor to be able to play different roles, but it's hard for me to see him as like an evil human being like in this show. It's so bad. Um, so I always forget, don't kill me, don't crucify me, but the redhead guy, I always forget his name. To be honest, he's never been my favorite character, so I've never been super attached to him. Um, so I wasn't like, it's so super horrifying though how, you know, like he, he died. He was like one of the guys that died. Um, but it was definitely horrible how it happened. But I loved, the thing I loved about that character was he was always so strong. And like when the first blow happened and then he said, what did he say, suck my nuts? I think that's what he said. I was like, yes, that's exactly, like I would say something like kiss my ass or something like that to someone doing that to me because I already know I'm gonna die anyways. So I might as well tell them that they're a complete a-hole, you know what I mean? Like who cares what's gonna happen? I'm gonna die, I already have a blow to the head, why not say something, you know? Like I would too. Um, but Rick, I love me, I love me some Rick and I love me my Daryl. Rick has grown on me so much this season. He is such a badass and I love it. Like I love what a kick-ass badass guy he is. Um, but when he said, I'm going to kill you to Negan, I mean, I love him for it, but are you insane? Like why would you say that to someone that's just killed one of your good friends in front of you with a bat covered in barbed wire. Like, what is going through your head? I mean, I get it, I get it, totally, but just don't say it out loud when 
your friend just died in front of you. Do you want to die? Your son's right next to you. Oh my goodness, Rick. Um, and then Glenn. That was the most heart-wrenching part for me, guys. Glenn is a, an original, you know, like he's been with us forever and you really get attached to these characters and I mean every time a really big character goes down, it's heart wrenching, but Glenn, I mean Glenn, oh man that was horrible and I had guessed it, like I guessed that it would be Glenn, but then when the redhead guy, you know, it was shown that he was hit, I'm like, oh okay, cool, we still have Glenn. It was so shocking and so horrifying. And to see his face and the eyeball. You guys, the eyeball did me in. I don't like anything with eyeballs. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you know I have an eye phobia kind of thing. Not really, it's not a strong phobia. I can touch my own eye, but I don't like going to the eye doctor. I don't like seeing eyeballs anywhere. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna get over this. <laughs> ah, it's so crazy how shows can make you feel so much and make you feel like you have a connection to those characters even though they aren't necessarily real it's not real life but you get really attached to them um i don't know if that's just me i know a lot of people feel the same way about specific shows and walking dead is definitely one of them so i'm not showing you what i got at sephora i'm sure some of you might be wondering about that i'm going to film a haul for you right now i don't think my makeup looks too off i might just need to touch up a little bit and change my top and I'm just gonna lay my hair up probably in my clip because I really want to get that up for you ASAP. It'll probably be already up right now, my friends and family haul. And I'm also gonna put some suggestions in the haul, even because there was definitely more I wanted to buy, but I restricted myself to only spending $200. I took cash out of my bank, put that in my wallet, and did not allow myself to purchase more than that. And honestly, I think that's a really smart way to do it or give yourself like a budget because you can go absolutely insane at these sales, especially if you're gonna start buying Christmas presents. Um, I'm honestly thinking about making maybe one more order just for some Christmas presents, but I might wait till the VIB sale, which is November 11th through the 14th, I believe. And um, this friends and family sale goes till the 27th. Dang, by the time this vlog goes up, it'll already be over for that but you can still watch my haul and suggestions for the VIB sale, which will just be in like a week or two. Um, and I'll leave that information down below for you guys. <sighs> I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I'm actually taking my grandma to the doctors tomorrow morning and hopefully I'll be able to get some editing done tomorrow as well. I'll see you then. Hey guys, I know I'm looking snazzy again. I have like very minimal makeup on. I'm in line to get Starbucks right now. I took my grandma to the doctor this morning. Um, she's doing really, really well. Thank you all for your prayers. We went to her surgeon today, this morning, for him to check on everything. Um, like her incisions look great. She's healing really well. She's progressing like the right way. Um, so yeah, the next thing, we'll have to go to her oncologist next, but um, everything's looking really good. So I appreciate all your prayers and good thoughts and well wishes for my grandma. It means a lot. She's definitely starting to do better and becoming more independent. And I know that's probably the hardest part for her is not having the ability to do everything she did before. Um, Cause I don't know, we're all very independent women in our family. <laughs> and she just wants to be able to, you know, do everything she used to, which she will be able to eventually. But it's just gonna take a little time. It's a very cloudy day here today. Um, this is a really weird angle because I'm trying not to have anyone see me filming. <laughs> it's really cloudy here today. I don't know what's going on. But I'm gonna head over to Kohl's after this. Just to take a look around, I wanna see if I can find some goodies, some more goodies for my holiday giveaway that I'm gonna be doing for you guys. So this is what I ended up getting at Kohl's. 
Mom, if you're watching, turn this part off because there's a little gift for Mama B in here. <laughs> okay, so I got these fuzzy, fuzzy socks. They're so soft. They're a set of two and they have little grips on the bottom. And I constantly need to replace my fuzzy socks as I wear them all the time around the house and they get really, you know, dirty and grossy. Even though you wash them, they start getting holes and stuff. So I got one pair for you guys for the giveaway and one pair for me. They were buy one, get one 50% off. Oh, it's so cozy. I love them. And then I got these cute little Santa socks. They're also buy one, get one 50% off. And one of these cute socks will be going in the giveaway. I just want to, I'm obviously, I'm going to put a ton of makeup in the giveaway, but I also want to get some cute little fun stuff like this for it. Then these little ornaments were on sale for 50% off. Um, so they were only... $4.99 plus I had a 20% off coupon so they ended up being around $3 and I got one for my mom and one for my grandma because literally my grandma is always calling my mom her angel and well me and my mom she'll be like you guys are my angel I don't know what I would do without you during this really hard time this year she just repeats that over and over and over so I just thought this was so fitting to get this for my mom for our tree this year and just says mom engraved on the bottom it's from the brand peace and love I just think it's so cute and she has brown long hair like my mom and then I got one for my grandma as well because she's our angel and this was so perfect because her name is Rose and this angel was holding a rose. I just thought that was absolutely, this is the first one I saw and I was like, that is so perfect. And then I looked for one for my mom and that's the one I found, so. I got those two. I'm already shopping a little bit for Christmas as you can see because I just wanna get a little head start. So then I got a bunch of these little rock sets that are their holiday line. Um, so I got two of these because one's for me, one's for you for the giveaway. This has a full size highlight and blush. The packaging is mirrored rose gold, which you guys know I'm obsessed with rose gold. This is such beautiful packaging. So this set is called Evening Soiree and it has, um, let's see, these are the shades. Moonlight and Chroma Blush, which I don't have either of those. So, and I really wanted to get that for you guys. And then there's also a darker set, but I felt like this one would be more universal. And then I got this little set. I'm not sure if I'm going to be giving this to um, one of my family members for Christmas and I don't want to say who, or if I'm going to put it in the giveaway. It just depends on how much else I get for my holiday giveaway. But these are so beautiful. I want them for myself, but I didn't allow myself to get it for me because I, like I said in my last vlog, I have way too many lip products and I really need to limit buying any. So these are so pretty though. They have rose gold packaging, you guys. And the shades are beautiful. You have some really beautiful nudes, a pink, a more kind of like berry color, and then a deep kind of um, wine shade. So this is a beautiful set. They're all full size, five full size lipsticks. And here I will show you the shade names. Here are the shade names. And here are the shade names. So I just went to Bath and Body. I had to return one of my pumpkin cheese cake candles. It smelled really like burnt smelling. And so I ended up returning it and I got these little goodies um, instead of just getting my return. So this beautiful pocket back holder is all silver glitter and it has those pearl and bling details just like the candle holder I got and my soap dispenser and I just love this. Of course I couldn't resist the sparkle. And this is only $3.50 and then the little Hand sanitizer, I believe, is $1.50. And I got the winter scent, and you can't really see, but there's sparkles in it as well. So I just could not resist that. And then, when I was checking out, I found this little unicorn one. This one's a little bit more pricey. Um, I love that it's this beautiful lavender, though, with sparkles. I'm trying to have it zoom in, there you go. And then watch this, you guys are gonna flip. It lights up! How stinking cute is that? It's pretty much magical. I love it. So, I'll interchange them, but the sparkly one's gonna go on my purse for now because it's more kind of like holiday Christmassy, and then I'll probably use this one in the new year. But it's so, so stinking cute. Okay, I changed my mind. <laughs> I decided I liked my little unicorn better for at least right now, and then I'll probably change it to the sparkly one in December. But she looks so cute with my little puff from Francesca's. 
Yes, I'm still using my Michael Kors. This purse, I swear, I've been using it for years now. And it's it's staying really strong. And like It fits so much that I can't stop using it. But anyways, this is what she looks like with my little puff. I really love it. And like I said, I have the winter fragrance on there. I'm filming with my iPhone. I know you guys aren't going to like it. <laughs> But I didn't want to get my camera out just yet. I'm going to the State Fair today with It's Kirsten here on YouTube. And you'll see her in a moment. I'm wearing a hat today, which is so unusual for me. With a ponytail. And you've seen this dress a gazillion times. Um, but it's just really comfortable. It's going to be mega hot. 99 degrees, folks. 99 degrees on October the 28th. <laughs> um. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm Hi. with Kirsten. From It's Kirsten on YouTube. We're at the State Fair. We're gonna eat some really all of the fried foods in my foods. face. <laughs> That'll be really, really good. So yeah, here's just a quick look around what I'm seeing right now, and I'll show you what we do later. Okay, first round, guys. This is deep fried butter, garlic butter, okay, and cinnamon sugar. Oh it's boy. So good. <laughs> All right, guys, round two. These are deep fried cheese curds. Mm -hmm. oh. By the way, the garlic butter ones were bomb, bomb, bomb diggity. So good. All right. All right. Trying cheese bite. curds. I hope you love hot. them as much as I do. They're hot? Well, we could have guessed that. We waited a while for them. I, like them. <laughs> I love cheese curds. Mm. Here, feed me one. Oh, it's so it's good. salty, it's good. Mm. <laughs> A plus. Oh god, they're so good. To the now. You should have seen Melissa's face <laughs> when I said, oh, make a Nutella pickle. She's like, no, not all in one, right? I see the picture. Yeah. And she goes, no, 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 no. guys, no. <laughs> that, that's, that's Jack Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa doesn't eat bacon that's all in pickle oh, together. That's so funny. But um, can we just take a look at how many of the cheese curds are left? <laughs> They're dwindling. This is definitely my favorite so far. <laughs> Perfect. Do that all day. Duckies. They're so cute though. They're tired. They're being lazy. Oh, you guys, there's a baby one in there. <laughs> Kirsten is officially freaking out. <laughs> Are you good? I can't be last year, but this so year probably not cute. Cute. with the baby and he's blocked off. And the mom is like these flies. These freaking flies. So cute. Oh. Alright guys, so we're going down with the deep fried Oreo. But they have deep fried Reese's, cheesecake, Nutella, Twix, cookie dough. And a new one is deep fried Tim Tams. And Kirsten's gonna get that. I'm gonna get the Oreo since I've never ever ever had pretty much anything deep fried <laughs> so from the fair so i'm gonna get the oreo okay guys round three deep fried oreos deep fried tim tams what what i don't know why i'm more excited about one well, but i haven't had either of these before ever but they look so good i can't believe they give you four of them i was thinking there would be one <laughs> This is what it looks like inside, guys. I don't know how I feel about it. There's more dough than cookie. It's interesting. It's not my favorite. The cheese curds are still my favorite.
We're waiting for her to take your picture with this crazy monster. All right, guys, round four. I think this might be my final round. We'll see. But these are deep fried avocado. And this is some sort of like creamy chipotle or some sort of okay. creamy sauce. Some kind of creamy chipotle sauce. I'll let you know how they are, but they look really, really yummy. All right, we're ready. Oh, we're really good. I love it. They're so good. What's the sauce? It kind of tastes like mayonnaise with chipotle. Yeah. Okay, don't mind the roughness. Like literally, my makeup is fall like all off my face, <laughs> and I just put my hair up. But I'm about to go take a shower because Mama needs a shower badly. Oh my God, I should have took off my makeup before talking to you guys. It was 99 degrees today, but it was a slight wind, and we were there from like 3:40 ish till about nine o'clock. Um, I realized we were there for a while. Um, so we were there like at night and it was so much nicer at night. I had so much fun. Um, I'm glad that Kirsten invited me. Thanks, Kirsten. We had a lot of fun like, ugh, I can't even talk. Um, we had a lot of fun trying those different foods. I have been to the fair, you know, many times, but the only thing I've ever had at the fair is turkey leg, funnel cake, and ice cream. I've never tried any of the crazy fried things that are everyone's always talking about when they go to the fair. I don't know why, I just never like tried them. Never had anyone try them with me because I never would want to buy like a whole thing myself. So it's fun because me and Kirsten, like each of us would buy something and we shared it. So the first thing, you guys seen most of this already, but I just want to like give you a little tidbit more of information about what, how I felt on things. Um, so the first thing we tried was fried butter. Now I know that sounds absolutely disgusting and I was repulsed initially hearing that phrase, but but it's really, really good. So Kirsten had already had that before and she said that that was like hands down the best. So what they do is they, she explained this to me, they take kind of like a melon baller but not as big as like a regular melon baller would be, like a little bit smaller and they like scoop a thing of garlic butter and they put that in the fryer. Or I don't know if they put batter on, I guess they put batter on it, whatever. And they put that in the fryer 
and so when it comes out, it's kind of tastes like a garlic knot in a way. When you bite into it, the butter has melted, so it's just kind of absorbed into the dough, and it tastes like a garlic knot. They were really tasty, surprisingly. So the other ones we got were the cinnamon ones, and that just tastes like a little cinnamon donut, really. Oh. That, those are really good, but the garlic butter ones are a must try for just like first timers that have never tried it. And then we had the cheese curds, the Wisconsin cheese curds. Those were the bomb. They're like a little saltier like than a like mozzarella stick kind of thing, but it's just different. They're really, that was my favorite thing of the night. By the way, this was like my dinner. I didn't eat dinner <laughs> today so I could try like a few of these things and I feel like I'm probably gonna be hurting tomorrow and need to have some smoothies maybe tomorrow to supplement the greasiness of my day today. And then we also had, I had fried Oreos for the very first time in my life and um, Kirsten got the fried Tim Tams. So they gave us four Oreos, like what? I guess if you had four people with you, that'd be awesome, but I ate one and she had one and then I threw the other two away. I know that's so wasteful, but I thought they were good. But I don't know if it would be something I would ever get again. I really, next year if I go, I would probably try the fried Twinkie over the Oreo or something different. Like I feel like I'd try something different every time just cause not, except for the cheese curds, those were bomb. I would get those every time. Um, the Tim Tam was not like as we expected. It kind of was just like chocolate, just tasted like chocolate within a donut or like dough, you know, like fried dough. It didn't taste like a Tim Tam inside of it. Um, but with the Oreo, you, if you've never had one, it definitely does, you can taste the cookie. You can taste the Oreo flavor. But it's just like as if a, a donut or fried dough has eaten an Oreo and it kind of makes Oreo a little soft. So it's very interesting. Um, and then the last thing you saw us eat was the fried avocado, which was really like light in comparison to the other things we had because the avocado's like really creamy in the inside and it's not, they didn't over batter them and those were, I mean it's still rich because it's avocado and it's creamy and it's fried but those were good too. But we were stuffed at the end, we were like oh my goodness. Um, and seeing Garbage, the band Garbage was so awesome, I already talked about this on Snapchat but I'm a kid of the 90s and if you are then I'm sure you do know the band Garbage. She is such a kick ass like rocker chick i absolutely love her i think her name is shirley manson the lead singer um i think she's scottish and then the other bandmates the like guitarists and the drummer i think they're all american artists but i've loved some of their music from the 90s like i know all their hit songs and i i know a few others as well so it was really cool to see them live and it was free because it was um general admission and you're able to go general admission with a ticket with your state fair ticket uh, i think we actually ended up having better seats than general admission though we were closer than i thought we would get and it, it was just so cool to experience that and get to see one of my favorite bands from the 90s I think they came out around 93. My brother was born in 93, that's crazy. That, that was that long ago. Anyways, it made me really want to watch 10 Things I Hate About You because um, the song Stupid Girl is in that movie and I don't know, sometimes when I hear a song, I think of a movie I actually do that a lot and I think it probably drives my family crazy because I'll say something like, do you guys remember when this song was in blah 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 movie? They're like, no, Melissa, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so I need to go take a shower and yeah, get to bed probably. I did also get a caramel apple, which I plan to share with the family, but I feel like it's not the fair unless I get a caramel apple. I got one last time I was at the fair like two years ago. I ate it there though, but I took it home. It's cute all wrapped and pretty. I feel like I need to take an Instagram picture with it maybe tomorrow <laughs> before I eat it. It's so cute. Oh, actually, before I go take a shower, I'm going to show you a package that came in the mail. I'm so excited. Oh, I wanted to show you guys real quick. So first, I'm going to start with the Estee Lauder, the Estee Edit one, because I was totally shocked, had no idea that was this was coming in the mail. They always send it in their really cute bags. I love these bags. 
And then this is for holiday. I'm like so excited that they sent me this so I can review it for you guys. It's called the Gritty and Glow Magnetic Eye and Face Palettes. And I've seen a few people posting about these on Instagram. So I'm going to open these in a second and show you. But essentially it's an eye. One side is an eye palette. One of them is an eye palette. And one of them is like a highlighter and face palette. Oh, I'm so excited to show you that. So, and then you got this really beautiful picture of Kendall. Hi, gorgeous. And then you get a little bit of an idea of what's in their holiday kind of collection, I'm guessing. Okay, this made my day. Sephora, I love you even more for this cover. I love that they, they did a younger girl. Like, I mean, obviously all covers are usually models, young models. I love that they did an older model, and I think she looks absolutely stunning. I hope to look half this good <laughs> when I'm her age. And yes, be rocking that cat liner, right? She looks so good. So to every older woman that tells me that, that you cannot rock this look, kind of look, yeah. This girl, I'm just telling you, you can rock it. You can rock a bold lip, you can rock an eyeliner. Any age, any age. Okay. I also got something from Influencer. Now this is a skincare little set from, I'm gonna butcher this, Erno Lazo, New York, Smoothing and Calming. This came in a really cute little plastic box that slides open. It's really hard to do one-handed though without breaking a nail, okay? So it has a little sample of their Timeless Skin Serum. So it also comes with a bar of soap, like to clean your face. And then this is a sensitive cleansing oil. Cute, cute, cute packaging. So we'll see what I think about that. Then I got this By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder from Octilly.com, which is a site that sends product for review. I've heard so many good things about this, um, and what sold me was Kristen Game, my friend here on YouTube. She did, um, she mentioned this a few times, I believe, and I was like, okay, I've gotta try this. So I'm really, really pumped. Maybe I'll use it in a tutorial. I'm thinking I'm gonna film a tutorial this week, like using new makeup products and probably the Too Faced holiday palette. Maybe I'll use this to set my under eye. Focus on my camera is really hating me today. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Kind of. Well, you get the point. It's a powder. <laughs> But it's supposed to be magical. Okay, and then Pop Beauty, I swear, they are the, so generous. I'm always getting packages from them. They're really awesome. So either they're just pumping out the new products or they're just really generous. So these are all the products they sent. They sent a lipstick, a colorful eyeshadow palette, which, to be honest, guys, you definitely are getting that in a giveaway because I don't wear colors like that, but I know someone will really enjoy that. A big, chunky liquid liner, some fun glitters, and a pigment. So these are all the products that are in there and the prices. And here you go, there's what they look like.